how to divide a circle into 12 parts. For those of you who like your um, drawings to be more accurate and you don't just want to freehand the pie slices, here's a way you can get all 12 pie slices to be the same size. So you're just going to trace your circle, whatever that might be. And then you're going to use a ruler and yours is going to be completely different than mine. But what you want to do is make a straight line on one side so it touches it. Then you're going to measure how far that is to the other side. And then you're just going to bring it over one more time. Make another straight line on that side. You're actually going to be dividing it into four, so you can do that right away. You can divide it in half once, um, divide it in half, and then divide this section in half. So I don't know what your measurements are going to be, so I can't really tell you what your measurements are. I'm sure there's like scientific words for this. I just don't really know what they are. Then you want to do the same thing with this side. Draw a straight line across. Figure out how far it is to this side. And make a straight line across the top. I keep running into the camera, so. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna divide this into four. So the first thing you're gonna do is divide it in half. Mine is six inches, so I'm just measuring it at three. Then I'm dividing the first section in half. For me, it's one and a half. And for the section, second section, it's four and a half. Then I'm gonna come a little bit lower and do the same thing. Three, one and a half, and four and a half. So we basically have just created a grid over your circle that is 16 squares, so four by four squares. And this is going to help us know where we need to draw our pie. So the first ones you're going to use are just the X that goes through the middle. So now we have four pie slices. Now we have four pie slices and we need 12. So what is 12 divided by four? Three. So we need to divide each one of these into three. And wherever it hits the edge right here, that is going to be where you make your pie slice. Anywhere your lines intersect the circle, that is where you need to draw a line into the center. So, let's see how this goes right across. So I have one pie slice and two pie slices. And then I'm just gonna measure where this line intersects and this line intersects, going right through the middle. Then I'm gonna measure, do the same thing with these pie slices right here. Okay, so there you have your circle and it is now divided into 12 equal parts. So that's kind of a long way to do it, but if you would like your circle to be more accurate, then you can do it this way. How to divide a circle into 12 parts. And you can paint a color wheel or you could use this for whatever, whatever else you're trying to do.